Ovarian cancer staging system is a very difficult one to remember. So I have come up with some mnemonics and some images to remember it easily. Just like any other staging, there are four stages. One, two, three, and four. The mnemonic for this is open. Coming to stage one, the tumor is confined to ovary. Always for ovary. Here we have 1A, 1B, and 1C. A is for single ovary. The tumor is confined to ovary with intact capsule. B is for both. Tumor is limited to both ovaries with an intact capsule. C is capsular rupture. C e is either C1, C2, or C3. In C1, there is tumor spillage during the surgery, and in C2, the tumor is present on the surface of the ovary. Capsular rupture before surgery. In C3, there is positive cytology. The cells have spilled into the peritoneal cavity. So the peritoneal washings are positive, or there is malignitis. In stage 2, C stands for pelvis. The tumor is lim extends beyond the ovaries but it is limited to pelvic organs. So what is the pelvic structure? So first, the ovary, from the ovary, they can spread to either fallopian tube or to the uterus. But there is no involvement of adjacent structures. So the tumor has spread from the ovary into the adjacent pelvic organ, then it is stage 2b. Bladder and rectum. This is pubic symphysis and this is sacra. This is the pelvis. Tumor is limited to the pelvis. So, involvement of rectum or involvement of bladder is because stage 2. Then, coming to stage 3, E stands for extra pelvic structures and N stands for nodal involvement. In 3, again, we have 3A, 3B, and 3C. In 3A, we have again 3A1 and 3A2. First, there is nodal involvement. Once the adjacent structures are involved, then the tumor spreads along the lymphatics into the adjacent structures. So, after it becomes 3A, which is retroperitoneal lymph node involvement. If the tumor deposits are less than 10 mm in size, or if it is more than 10 mm in size, based on that, again the A1 is divided into 1 and 2. Just remember A1 as lymph node involvement. 3A2, 3B, and 3C, there is involvement of extra pelvic structures. If the tumor deposit size is microscopic, then it is 3A2. If it is less than 2 cm, it is 3B. If it is more than 2 cm, it is 3C. So if there is a peritoneal deposit in the abdomen, outside the pelvis, this is pubic symphysis, and this is sacrum, bladder, uterus, and rectum. The peritoneal deposits are outside this on the serosa of the bowel or on the colon either on the small bowel or on the abdominal peritoneal cavity then depending on the size it is either 3A2, 3B or 3C coming to stage 4 D stands for distant meds again in 4 we have 4A and 4B 4, sorry 4A is pleural effusion with malignant cytology Cytology is positive. In 4B, there is involvement of parenchyma or involvement of extra, extra abdominal lymph nodes. That is example, like vinyl lymph nodes. Involvement of parenchyma means if there is any lung deposits other than pleural effusion within the parenchyma of the lung or if there are liver deposits if the deposits are present on the serosal surface of the liver without the involvement of parenchyma, then it will come into stage 3. But if there is parenchymal involvement, then it comes under stage 4b. Let's see the theory part now. Coming to stage 1, tumor is confined to ovaries or fallopian tube, as I have described already. 
one A is single ovary, one B, B stands for both, both ovaries are involved, C stands for surgical spill or capsule if the, ruptured, uh, if the capsule is ruptured prior to surgery or if, this, if they have spilled and malignant cells are found in ascites or on the in the peritoneal washings. Then coming to stage 2, if there is involvement of pelvic organs, either uterus and fallopian tube or involvement of other structures other than uterus and fallopian tube, next, but confined within the pelvis, stage 2 is for P, pelvis. Then coming to stage 3, there is involvement of organs outside the pelvis or there is involvement of retroperitoneal lymph nodes. So 3, A1 is positive retroperitoneal lymph nodes. A2 is microscopic extrapelvic extra spread. 3B and 3C are microscopic peritoneal mats less than 2 cm or more than 2 cm in greatest damage. Stage 4 is pleural effusion and positive cytology. 4B is parenchymal metastasis or metastasis to extra abdominal organs.